In this video, I'm going to explain how a hurricane in the eastern Pacific will impact California and surrounding states, as well as a dynamic pattern change across the U.S. Across the country on this Tuesday morning, we don't have too much going on other than this generally weak storm over the eastern United States. But there's a new disturbance over western Canada, which we expect will dive southeastward and bring one last significant round of severe storms to parts of the northern United States before that massive pattern change occurs. Before I explain that further, let's take a look at this incoming disturbance. This system will remain in Canada until about Wednesday afternoon when it starts getting close to the United States and Canadian border. At this point, we're going to start seeing a pretty notable low pressure system form, possibly as low as 980 millibars, and this will help kick off some intense storms over Minnesota and Wisconsin on Wednesday evening into the night. It will quickly move east overnight Wednesday into Thursday, pushing a potentially strong squall line into Wisconsin and eventually Michigan. This squall line will weaken somewhat on Thursday before some re-intensification occurs during the afternoon over Michigan. This line of storms will then propagate eastward into the northeast as we head into Friday, August 18th, bringing additional strong to severe thunderstorm activity across the region. It will eventually exit the country by Friday night into Saturday, setting the stage for the most interesting weather pattern I've seen all summer. As we head into the weekend around August 19th, our attention shifts off the coast of Mexico. By this point in time, we will likely see a rapidly intensifying hurricane. This is actually going to affect the pattern over the United States, as you'll see in just a second. As the hurricane moves north over the weekend, it will send a massive surge of moisture into the western U.S. This surge of moisture will get caught in the clockwise rotation of the high-pressure system, sending it up and over the high-pressure area as we head into next week. This will bring very heavy rainfall from California, Arizona, and Nevada up into the interior northwest across places like Montana and Washington. As we head further into the week, the hurricane will make a close call with Southern California as it rapidly weakens over cooler water. This will continue causing rainfall and storms, especially over California and perhaps Washington and Oregon as we head through next week. Of course, this event will be long-lasting and it doesn't start until this weekend, so some details will change. One thing we are certain will occur is a very dangerous and widespread heat wave. As you can see, we are expecting widespread well above average temperatures across the eastern U.S. with some cooler than normal weather over the southwest. These cooler temperatures will occur due to unseasonably rainy weather, which is why we do see widespread above normal precipitation probabilities, especially over eastern California, all of Nevada, and parts of Arizona and Utah. We will have much more detail about all stages and effects of this dynamic weather pattern in the coming days, so make sure you stay tuned for more updates. For now, thanks for watching this weather report. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss my updates and consider dropping a like if you found this video helpful.